Okay, today we are in Sepang for ARC race round one in Malaysia, and we have a team from Philippines. This is a team Filipina. Is this a factory team for, from Philippines? Yes. Ah, uh, this a Yamaha factory team. Yamaha factory team from Philippines. Yes. From so Philippines. let's introduce yourself. Ah, uh, my name is Masato Fernando from Yam Yamaha Oma Racing Philippine team. Ah, uh, my name is Kevin Chang from. Team Oma Racing Yamaha Philippines team. So okay, uh, as uh, this is the first round, and then everybody is uh, come back again after last year race. So are you guys here from the last year race? Uh, last year I compete uh, in Underbone 150. Underbone in, yes. in ARC as well. ARC also. So uh, what is the difference uh, setup from the last year and this year? You you have changed. Uh, for your bikes? Uh, now uh, we adjust our engine and suspension and uh, last year is our, our first time to race in, in Sepang but now uh, new challenge for me this year. So before you come to ARC uh, you race in Philippines? What yes. Race? Uh, I race in scooter and underbone. Uh, I race in 15 years. 15 years? Yes, 15. You uh, already raced for 15 years? Yes, yes, yes. So in these 15 years uh, racing, what is your best career you ever got? Uh, my best career is to win here in uh, in round one in Sepang. This is this year is the best race in in my life. So that's uh, yesterday? Uh, I don't know, last year, last year, last year. So last year, year. Oh, so last year you got first first position? Uh, race to uh, first position, last so, year. So last year, race to you got first position and this is your first time you race in Sepang? Ah, second time, second time, second, second time. time. Oh, this year, 2020. But when you come for the first year, you win, win right? Yes, yes, so yes. So that means you come for the first time in Sepang and you win? Yes, yes, so yes. So that's a very, very good result. Yes, yes. So how you compare uh, Sepang circuit with the Philippine circuit? Philippines is always uh, in, we race in the street and street circuit. Yes, street circuit and our our race track there is only a short short track only. This track is one of the best race track I've I've tried. Yes. So you you enjoy racing? Sepang? Yes, very enjoy. So what is the difficult you face from the small track, the strict circuit, to the big circuit like this one, like Sepang? Short short track is very technical. In our track, a uh, very short track, very technical, very difficult in cornering. But now, uh, this Sepang is very high speed, very dangerous, but very exciting. So you you for even for your first time you come to Sepang last year you already enjoy and you yes, already can, can very get enjoy a timing. Uh, uh, new challenge for me and uh, new strategy. Uh, all right. So how about you? How long have you been racing? Uh, only um, five years. Only. Five years. So before you come to join ARC, what do you do? In ARC, this is only my first time. First time you yes. come to Sepang and yes. ARC race. So before first you join ARC, season, uh, I do exercise always, uh, biking, like some upper body to you build strength. my strength and the physical. Physical always. So what what race you you join uh, in Philippines before you join ARC? I race same like Masato like. Scooters, underbone, and some backbone. That's all I ride in Philippines. So in Philippines, actually, is a scooter very popular? Yes, very, 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 very popular. popular. Yeah, because we, we have seen some video, uh, even at illegal race. Yes. So yes. they are very popular about scooter. Uh, very popular. Yeah. Uh, like uh, we have an, uh, a scooter like Mio. Uh, they modified. Uh, IRCC, oh. IRCC, IRCC, like 115 to 160. Yes, yes, 180, 180 200 cc. But that one is for drag racing or for for uh, two, same uh, drag racing and and circuit racing. Yes. So you prefer uh, scooter racing or you prefer underbone racing? I prefer underbone. Why? 
because my my dream is to race in RC and no scooter in RC. Ah, it's a small race, yeah. Yes. So okay, from the small circuit in Philippines, you've been racing. Now you join ARC. It's a big race, which is uh, as for us, we think this is like a a step before to MotoGP. So now you are big. Basically, you are racing in the big circuit. Yes. How you get yourself get used to be a big circuit from a small circuit to the big circuit? What is the different and what is the challenge you face? Uh, the challenging is in Philippines. If coming on corners, always down shift. Here, always up upper shift. <laughs> in the corner, always full throttle. Very different to in Philippines race track. So this is your first uh, trip to to Malaysia, Sepang, right? Yes. So what do you feel? I feel very challenging, and I need to challenge myself because this is my dream to race ARC. So what you got uh, uh, the finish yesterday? Uh, saying I have some problem. The uh, other riders crash in front of me. That's why I get back from 24. I got only 20. So, so it's considered still good result, yeah. Yes. As your is your first time. So what is your biggest challenge uh, in the mixed circuit like Sepang? What the, the most difficult thing you face? The difficult thing is uh, the riders. So different in Philippines riders. Riders here tight corners always. So many riders. So how about you? What is your big challenge in Sepang circuit? As as this the circuit is so big, so huge, or high speed. What is the most difficult parts you have faced? Uh, my difficult part is to challenge the other Asian rider because they are very very high experience in racing, and our target in 2020 is to get the overall champion yes so you are confident with it yes i uh, I, I i have high confidence to win in this so year. In, in sepang uh, as we have a high speed corner we have a long straight we got technical corner uh, which is your favorite part in sepang circuit my favorite part uh, i think uh, the last corner and the technical because I have uh, high confidence to in late braking and in shifting. I think I am great in that. You enjoy uh, uh, yes, yes. all the speed. Yes, so the speed. How, how what is the fastest speed have you achieved in uh, in the back street? Uh, I think uh, my speed in my GPS is 176 kilometers. Yes. Yes, yes, very, very fast on the un fast. on the underbone. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you think you want to go faster? Can you go faster? You I think, I think, uh, I want to go faster. Yes. <laughs> How about you? What is your 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 top speed in the back street? In uh, I see like one seventy two. Same one seventy two. Oh, so same, same. Same, but uh, I think I need to improve my shifting. Yeah. Yes. So like like you guys from the small circuit, suddenly you go to so big circuit and so high speed. Yes. So, so is this is a very difficult thing for you to challenge? For me, it's uh, very exciting and very challenging. But I'm happy to race in the big truck because all, all riders are very enjoying in the big truck. Uh, very challenging. Yes. So, this is a uh, uh, another question. Who is your favorite rider? Who, who is your idol? Um, Valentino Rossi yeah. in MotoGP, yeah. and here in RRC, all all my competition riders in UB150. I last year I always watch them. Now <laughs> I meet I meet them in the race. So like last year you only watch in the TV yes. about the race team and then uh, you so excited it's like your dream to be the part of the race yes. and this year you are in the team and you are in ARRC how you feel I feel so blessed like God gave me this and I will do my best to to conquer my dream Yeah this is your dream come true so you have to work very hard for this How about you who is your favorite idol uh, Number one, uh, Valentino Rossi, because uh, what, he is one of the best riders in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 
for the daily, are you riding or you driving car or you driving motorcycle? Ah, yes, every day I ride uh, my scooter because uh, in our in the Philippines always traffic. That's why we use a motorcycle. Yeah. So what is your favorite motorcycle? Mm, Yamaha N Max. Oh, N Max scooter. It's big. It's 150, right? 155 cc. Yeah. Oh. So that's your favorite bike. So yes, because easy to easy to ride. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So convenient. And yes, in the, very convenient. In the yes. Yeah. How about you? You ride? Yes, in Philippines. Yeah. You yes. Ride every day? Yes, I ride going to many places because like business with my father so what is your favorite bike uh my favorite bike always riding yamaha sniper uh, yamaha sniper uh, sniper is a uh, legendary here yeah, uh, like, like Y15. Oh, it's same Y15. Yeah. Oh, in Philippines, they call uh, a sniper. 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 Is it, uh, in Malaysia now, Y15 is very, very popular. Yeah, How about popular. in Philippines? Yes, yeah, super popular very too. Popular. Super popular. All right. So, okay, uh, we got uh, the rider from Philippines and uh, hope they will get a very good result. And he got a very, very good result for his first time race in uh, Sepang. Last year, he got number one, number one in the race too. So we're looking forward for you to get uh, another good result this year. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to all Filipino fans and to my team, uh, Oma Racing Yamaha Philippine team. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also, thank you to Philippine fans, all of you, and to my boss and to my team also, Yamaha, Oma Racing Yamaha Philippine team. Thank you very much to Growing me here in the race. Uh, nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng sumusuport ng mga Pilipino, uh, lalo-lalo na sa family ko kay God at uh, sa lahat ng tao na nandito para ipagdasal kami, para manalo. Thank you. Maraming salamat din sa inyong lahat na sumusuporta sa akin kahit medyo mahirapan na o. Nandiyan pa rin kayo mga supporta sa akin. Tsaka sa family ko, also kay God din. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Supportahan mo pa rin po kami mamaya sa, sa labong season namin sa ARRC. Thank you. Okay, come to watch the race. Support the race. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Thank you.